Hello everyone. Today in the urinary and excretory system series I'm going to talk about homeostasis, filtration and reabsorption process. If you haven't done so already, um, I would highly recommend you to download my iPhone app called Urinary and Excretory System. This iPhone app um, contains uh, course notes, flashcards, and quizzes um, that will allow you to study and memorize um, the, the, the knowledge and um, all things about the urinary and excretory system um, for your uh, courses and for exams. Um, it's completely free, so why not just try it if you have an iPhone. I have um, provided a link to a summary of my app, or you could also go to your iTunes and search for urinary and excretory system in the App Store. Homeostasis. In the excretory system, the kidney is responsible for maintaining homeostasis. The maintaining mechanism is controlled by the central nervous system. The most important part of maintaining homeostasis is osmotic pressure. The osmotic pressure that needs to be maintained because it needs to maintain the iron concentration of the body. The osmotic pressure in the blood is maintained by albumin, a protein made in the liver. Antidiuretic hormone, or so-called ADH, is produced in the hypothalamus and it is responsible for the regulation of the amount of water excreted by the kidneys. Blood pressure and volume is monitored by bioreceptors found in large blood vessels. These sensors senses the stretch of the vessel walls to determine whether water needs to be secreted or absorbed. Alcohol absorption into the body inhibits ADH. Thus, it decreases water reabsorption. Adalstrone is another hormone whose responsibility is to increase reabsorption of sodium ions. Renin increases secretion of ADH and aldosterone, leading to increase of blood pressure. Filtration and reabsorption processes. There are three major kinds of processes in this category for the excretory system. The first one is glomerular filtration. It is the passive process driven by hydrostatic pressure. Glomerular filtration filters big proteins out from the blood flowing through the glomerulus to the renal tubule. Tubular reabsorption. 
tubular reabsorption is conducted in various parts of the kidney where water, ions, and nutrients are reabsorbed either passively along their gradients via diffusion or active transport. Tubular secretion. Tubular secretion removes unwanted materials from the plasma. This includes sodium ions, potassium ions, creatine, ammonia ions, and so on. Potassium is mainly secreted from distal tubule and collecting ducts, whereas the rest of the above is secreted in the proximal tubule. If you haven't done so already, um, I would highly recommend you to download my iPhone app called Urinary and Excretory System. This iPhone app um, contains uh, course notes, flashcards, and quizzes um, that will allow you to study and memorize um, the, the, the knowledge and um, all things about the urinary and excretory system um, for your uh, courses and for exams. Um, it's completely free, so why not just try it if you have an iPhone? I have um, provided a link to a summary of my app, or you could also go to your iTunes and search for urinary and excretory system in the App Store. And this concludes this tutorial of the urinary and excretory system series. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in studying for the urinary and excretory system um, in a really fast and convenient way, I, re uh, I would highly recommend you to download my iPhone app called Urinary and Excretory System. Um, it can be found in uh, the App Store or you can click on the link that I have provided in the video description below. Once again, thank you. Goodbye.